Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Uh, today I stopped on my way home uh, at the local tractor supply, and uh, this is actually a new one uh, by uh, near me. And uh, my favorite thing to do when you get the tractor supply is like kind of run to the the clearance section and see what see what discounts they're giving on stuff. Um, the clearance section didn't give me a whole lot of whole lot of uh, options there. There wasn't a lot of stuff there. It was a little fitting that I, I needed for 89 cents, but, um, uh, so I kind of walked out of there with, okay, I'm not going to get anything today. And as I was walking out, I saw a cart and it had a big yellow sign on it says price as marked. So I started digging into it and it was all tools. The whole cart was tools. So, um, I managed to pick up, um, a few things, uh, gear wrench, the flat, flat ratchet um, wrenches in SAE. They didn't have any metric. This is all they had. But you can see on the price. Whoop. This, there we go. It is. They were $19.99. They were marked down to $10.99. Uh, so um, I'm not a real big fan of the flat ratchet. But for $10.99, uh, they're good to throw in a travel bag that's in a vehicle and... Uh, use as needed and get me uh, out of a trap jam if need be. So got those, um, button cell batteries, uh, normally, um, normally $9.99. There you go. And they were on sale for $6.99. These are always good to have. I always grab these. They have the LR44s in them, uh, which are good for your laser pointers. Um, 2032s, 2025s. These actually had 2016s in them which um are ultra thin if you look at the the side of the package there those are really super thin uh batteries so i don't know what they go in i don't have any in in the house so um grabbed them so you never know what they're in um i'll find out eventually but when i need them i'll have them uh 50 pack button cells so seven bucks not bad uh, this was, uh, quite the steel, um, hundred foot steel, uh, tape measure, yard measure, uh, three eighths inch steel, uh, steel banded. Uh, it was $14.99 and it was on sale for $3.79. Now I should have grabbed, they had four or five of these. I should have grabbed them all. I'm not that guy. Uh, let other people grab them. Um, I will very rarely ever use this. This is more for marking out the yard if I want to put in, um, you know, do some landscaping or whatever. So that's always nice to have uh, handy in the arsenal. And I don't have to pull out my antique. Uh, I have a 100-foot uh, antique leather-bound uh, Stanley that uh, now I don't have to pull it out and use it in the yard. So that's good to have. Um, these were... These were not on sale, but these were $5.99. These were in those, those bins right by the door. If anybody's been to a tractor supply, they see the tool bins right by the door. So um, for uh, $4.99, I think they were. So for um, $5, bucks, 250 a piece, they're, uh, they're liner lock blades. They're good to throw in the toolboxes and have handy. Again, love razor blades because you can just, you don't have to really worry about the edge. Always pull them out and throw them away. Um always like having a razor blade next to uh, even carrying a knife because I don't always want to ruin my knives. So that was nice to grab. Um, just some magnetic squares for uh, steel. Uh, some small ones, do small projects. I actually don't have... I've got the big welding, uh, the big welding uh, magnetic squares uh, and, uh, you know, used for fabrication. So I actually don't have any small ones, but these were uh, $7.99. And they were on sale for $5.99. So grab those. Those would be good to have. Um, but one of the big things I grabbed, and I I grabbed it, and I'm, we're going to take a look at it today, um, was Crescent Ratcheting Screwdriver. So Crescent is owned by Apex Tools. Uh, Apex Tools has a ton of brands. KD, um, KD Tools, Gear Wrench. Seda, uh, the list goes on and on. Uh, Stanley, um, they're they're <laughs> they own everything. Um, so there's a ton of tools out there owned by Apex Group, 
Uh, the reason I grabbed this, this is an 11 and one ratchet. Um, well, that's one of the main reasons I grabbed it. It was $14.99. It was on sale for $4.49, so $4.50. But Apex Tools, since they own Gear Wrench, um, I um, have seen the Gear Wrench uh, model. Um, it's an 80, uh, 80191R, which is their ratcheting screwdriver. You can look that up, and if I think about it when I put the video out, I'll put the link in below to to uh, take a look at that so you can see what it actually looks like. Uh, you know, uh, I looked at it on, on uh, my tool truck. Uh, like I said, I have a, a gear wrench tool truck that comes around. Um, if you're watching this, John, hi. Um, <laughs> he and I looked at uh, when these first came out. And um, I wasn't 100% on them uh, for the price. I think it was... Uh, uh, I think it was like twenty six or twenty eight dollars off the off the truck. You can find them online anywhere from twenty to twenty five dollars. Um, but uh, but anyway, I wanted to take a look at them to see how close it is to the actual gear wrench. Uh, if you like, I said, if you look at the picture, it looks identical. Uh, ratcheting wrenches, uh, ratcheting screwdrivers. I've had. Um, you know, this was uh, this was kind of my first uh, ratcheting screwdriver. Uh, basically, uh, late eighties, early nineties. Uh, this is a really, I mean, the Stanley, um, the Stanley ratcheting screwdriver it has that, that, that hokey, uh, ratcheting mechanism. For some reason, this one here has such a low drag, um, and in both directions. And of course it's got the center that locks it in, but, uh, this was always, uh, this was always in my hand for years. And, uh, quite enjoyed using this i still obviously use it today it's down in the in the wood shop uh it's not in my mechanics uh drawer anymore up in the in the uh in the uh mechanics end of it but um still have the cap i've seen them lose the cap and everything but uh again this got a lot of use until i got um my my first snap-on uh ratcheting screwdriver which was this guy here got this uh probably uh mid-90s uh, this sucker came along maybe a little earlier than that, uh, early 90s. But um, this got a ton of use. Now, ratcheting screwdrivers, snap-on, I can tell you, when it comes to the ratchet mechanism, is the gold standard. There is no easier, low-drag, fine um, ratcheting mechanism on the market. Um, I will fight you on that. <laughs> uh, reversing... Um, it has the, the marks for reversing. You have center off, which locks it and flip it around. goes both ways. Uh, so that is, was my first one. Um, still never, you know, I never broke it or anything. So that's a, the first one. And then they came out with a set and they've changed. I mean, they've gotten quite more over the years. So, uh, they came out with a set, which I ended up buying the whole set. Uh, again, the cool thing about having a tool truck. A lot of times you you okay, I wanna I wanna buy the set. This is I own this already. This is what I did back then. Was okay, took this out of the set and traded it in, and to my tool truck. He took it, took it on, the, put it on the shelf, sold it as a new screwdriver because it was a new screwdriver. So, um, but these are stainless stainless steel shafts, magnetic, you know, and all of them are just as smooth as silk. You can hear that. The, the, that nice, that nice soft, soft ratchet in there. And it's just a, a beautiful sound and it's just so easy. Uh, so, but, and then they have the stubby. Um, so I had that set and then, uh, then the T-handle came along. This was actually a replacement. I did, uh, this, this, uh, ratchet mechanism did break on me. It actually fell apart. So I ended up getting an orange one. It was black. It matched the other the others there. But this one here's got a little bit more drag to it, and I think I need to do a little oiling on it. Um, but uh, like I said, out of all of them, this one, uh, you know, it's got a little drag on it. Uh, this one here, just recent, and the, uh, going at these, you know, that was the, the the these are the original ones I've had. This is a new one. I've just bought this. I want to say six seven months ago. 
Uh, I bought it because it's a pretty blue. And that's the only reason I own it, is because it's a pretty blue. And it's got sparkles in it. So, focus. Focus on those pretty sparkles. Hold on. No? We're not going to focus? All right. We're not going to focus, folks. But, anyway. Trust me. It's a nice screwdriver. But, it's exactly the same. That mechanism, you can hear it. It's exactly the same. Low drag. Wonderful. Absolutely great. Um, other ratcheting screwdrivers. Uh... You know, you get <laughs> you get gifts from from friends, um, family, because you're a mechanic. You get silly gifts. Uh, this was a, a, a ratcheting screwdriver that was given to me. This is I don't actually honestly think I've used this, but maybe once or twice. Uh, this is all cast, but you can see the the mechanism is actually a, a plastic ring. You can actually see the uh, the the ratchet mechanism in there as it turns. And kind of clunky. You hear that. But, um, and then of course we've got the, you know, the old school. This one's in the, in the restoration pile. I got this in a, in a tool hall at one point. But you know, listen to this guy here. That's got some chunk to it. And it is not, not low drag. That's kind of rough. But, Nostalgia reasons. These are kind of cool. Um, I will clean this up and and uh, it'll go in the in the in the vintage collection. So um, this is a Black and Decker. This one it looks like it's the same mechanism as the Stanley, and it is a rip off of that mechanism. But this has a lot higher drag, and it is um, not as nice as that other one. But uh, that's. Just a, a brief on, on ratcheting screwdrivers that I got laying around. Let's actually get to the main event. Let's get this thing open um, and see from all accounts that this is the gear wrench screwdriver. And again, originally it was $15. Gear wrench is selling online anywhere from twenty to twenty-five, um, and uh, that is looking very much like the original. And it is, it is. Um, it's interesting. Product of Taiwan. We can read that there. It says product of Taiwan, finished in mainland China. So I'm assuming some forging was done in Taiwan and. Shipped over and assembled in China. Um, you know what? That is... Listening to that and feeling that. It's got a little tiny bit of play in it. Um, that is the exact same as the gear wrench. The... I want to say that the, the reversing ring... You can see the reversing ring right here. Uh, for changing direction of the ratcheting mechanism. Uh... I want to say the gear wrench one was metal, but I'm not 100% sure. It's been a while since I've had one in my hand. But the, the feel of it, uh, the handle, almost identical. They did some, some changes to the, to the molding itself to put the gear wrench name into it. And a little bit different design. It's yellow and black instead of orange and black. But um, the, bits, the bits are exactly the same. The whole setup is exactly the same. So you get your number three, um, number three Phillips, and then I'm assuming we got a five sixteenths hex there, and then on this end we've got um, our number one, I believe, and a quarter inch hex ball detent to hold that in there, um, and a three eighths. I bet you we can use that as a 3 8 nut driver, that, that center section there, um, if need be. So that's, yeah, because that's not, that's, that's held in with the, with the, um, flats, not with, uh, with a hex. So we're going to use that as a 3 8 nut driver. So that's that. Um, there are, 
extra. That's nice. Um, like I said, you guys are seeing, I'm seeing this for the first time as well as you. You saw me open it up. But, um, so, each bit has its own individual hole to go into. Looks like we got a uh, couple of flats, a uh, number two square drive, Robertson bit, um, T15, and these are all our single-ended. They're long bits, single-ended. Uh, T15, T20, um, the S2 Robertson. Um, so quarter-inch flat. Uh, that's our number one, so there must be a number two in there in the front. I guess I my eyes are going. Um, and the 316 is flat. So... Uh, plastic seems decent, not great. It feels a little bit different than the, than the gear wrench one. So maybe the gear wrench is a little bit better. This is, you know, this collar here is metal though. Um, do I have a magnet close by here? Oh, here we go. No, that is, that is steel. That is definitely, uh, magnetic, but, um, Seems like it's got a little bit of drag. I'm hoping that'll wear in. I think that was one of the one of the things that the uh, with the gear wrench screwdriver as well. Um, it's got a, actually feels like it's got a lot of drag in the uh, tightening direction as opposed to the loosening. So, but anyway, uh, if you got a tractor supply by you, like I said, these are this is going to go in. In the toolbox in the or the tool bag in the in the vehicle, so it's uh it's handy. Uh you know, it's nice to have a, a nice assortment. Like I said, that was a decent assortment with the Torx and the and the uh the Phillips. So uh but with that, um we're gonna leave it at that, guys. Uh I hope you uh enjoyed the video. And uh if you did, please uh, like, subscribe. I'm actually seeing a lot of subscribers lately. I guess it's because I'm actually making videos. So everyone that subscribed recently, thank you very much. Uh, it's truly appreciated, everybody that subscribes. Um, but that's about it. Thanks, guys, and have a great day.